We're back with a heartwarming story of a friendship formed after a Fort Lauderdale resident made a life-changing discovery on one of his morning walks. He discovered the man he saw living on a bus bench wasn't just homeless. Local 10 News reporter Jeff Weinsier picks up the story from there. Good to see you, brother. David Ballou. How's the, how's the sweats going? You good? Hasn't been able to get Kenny Corbin off his mind. How'd you sleep last night? You doing okay? Sleeping on the cement bench here. And then one day I saw his mobility stick. He was holding it and sitting on this side, actually praying, okay? And I said, wow, this is crazy. This guy's blind and he's homeless. Kenny has been living on a bus bench across from Pier 66 in Fort Lauderdale since June of last year. And for months, we've been following Kenny's journey. Kenny actually counts the steps to get him to a nearby Speedway gas station where he eats and uses the bathroom. He showers at a nearby beach. Yeah, yeah you're hanging in there. David lives near that bus bench. How does this guy, you know, hold up night by night? This is a blessing. I mean, I was freezing. You probably brought me two wonderful blankets. This just showed me somebody actually cares. We tend to ignore the homeless. You know, there's a lot of drugs and alcoholism going on, but that's not the case with Kenny. 58-year-old Kenny Corbin is used to being on the road, but not like this. I drove a semi for 35 years. Uh, I've always done mechanic work. I went blind two years ago, Christmas Eve. I was working on a van and dust, some kind of a powder went in my eye and it melted my corneas. He lost his vision, his home, and claims people he trusted to help actually cleaned him out. I have a backpack in a bag, that's it. David set up a fund which raised nothing, so he called us. Somebody has to get a story out and help this gentleman. Kenny claims with mobility training, he'd be able to live on his own, and it has to be better than this. No, I can cook, I can clean, I can do everything. We reached out to social service agencies. A county homeless outreach found Kenny, took him to a shelter, but he claims he never got past the front door. We don't have a referral. Two, we don't have a bed. And our lobby is not your hotel. I packed my stuff off and I left. Kenny was back at the bus bench, and it was December. I was freezing. Somebody stole two of my blankets. Yeah, I'm, I'm freezing. Somebody stole some of my clothes. Unacceptable. We reached out to Mayor Nan Rich's office with Kenny's story. And this time? So, Kenny, mm -hmm. where are we living today? I'm at the Salvation Army in a transitional housing program. Better than the bus bench? A million times. <laughs> Kenny is now headed down the right road and working with a caseworker. I've applied for a few apartments. I'm waiting on the portal to open for Section 8. The caseworker is also putting in uh, with Social Security for long-term care. Without you and David, I'd still be sitting on the bus bench on 17th Street. You're looking sharp, though, man. <laughs> and we take you back to that bus bench where it all began, where a man concerned about another <laughs> simply stopped to talk. Always got a smile on your face, you know? <laughs> I don't know how you do it, brother, but, you know. Jeff Weinseer. You're, you're an inspiration to me, actually, okay? Local 10 News.